prevented that healthy glow. Instead, her teenage tanning has led to cancer. Now her shocking selfie is a warning to others. Tawny Willoughby wants you to understand how she went from this glowing, healthy skin to this, showing the realities of skin cancer. This is her most recent treatment. She posted the selfie and this message on her Facebook page. If anyone needs a little motivation to not lay in the tanning bed and sun, here you go. This is what skin cancer treatment can look like. The registered nurse from Alabama admits she spent a lot of time here as a teenager in the tanning bed, four to five times a week. She even had one installed in her house. She had her first skin cancer diagnosis at 21, and now at 27 years old, she has had carcinoma six times. Tawny was not diagnosed with melanoma, but melanoma is the second most common cancer for 15 to 34 year olds, and it's estimated that in 2014, 1,050 Canadians will die from melanoma. Melanoma is often found on the back, so the American Academy of Dermatology created this video, Who's Got Your Back? Using a UV camera to show how it's almost impossible to apply sunscreen on your own back, you need a friend to help. As for Tawny, she now has a two-year-old son and does not want to be a statistic thanks to tanning and her pursuit of a glow. Tawny hopes that by posting her selfie, it will change at least one person's mind about spending time in the tanning bed or in the sun. For more on the story, go to globalnews.ca. I'm Alison Bushnick.